All right, yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mayflower, and as always, hope all you guys are having a great day. Um, let me set this down real quick. Um, but for real, this is like the uh, the little YouTube plaque, and um, I don't know, I just wanted to hop on here at the beginning of the video, since um, this is when most of you guys would be watching that I could say something like this. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for getting me here. Um, I've, I've wanted one of these since I was like a little kid, so this is really, uh, cool to have so thank you guys for you know getting me this far i don't know it's kind of kind of weird looking at it thank you if that thing falls on the floor and breaks i'm gonna have a meltdown um so i did post like a big thank you video and like little montage on my instagram that you could probably see somewhere right here if you guys want to go watch that um but for real i really do appreciate you guys um supporting this channel and my music uh so far um this is what i do my whole life um it always has been so to get some type of um recognition it uh means a lot. That's all I'm gonna say. Stop being sentimental and whatnot. Um, but for this video, I wanted to do something kind of reminiscent of old times like we used to do, um, which is just to kind of make like a fun little remix or something, you know, something not too serious, just have some fun, open up FL Studio and just uh, kind of go for it. And I do have a song in mind from one of my favorite artists that uh, I guess I'll get into when the video starts. But yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna lay down a little remix, have some fun. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Headphones going on. These are, these are actually new headphones. I don't know if I like them yet, but we're gonna try them out. So the idea I had in mind was to remix this song by 070 Shake, one of my favorite artists. Um, if you wanna go listen to the original version just to hear the difference from what we're gonna turn it into. So it looks like we're at 80 or 160, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so we have the acapella and we're at 165. So uh, I think the best option would be to do some type of drum and bass remix. Um, I don't, I don't know if we've ever done that genre on this channel, but we're, we're gonna try it. I'm just trying to get some piano chords going. I think this is uh, kind of working for step one. As you can see, I'm just kind of throwing around samples, just trying to make some type of atmosphere. As you can see, these are kind of just plopped in here. I'm not really caring about the timing, more of just uh, the sound and atmosphere in general. I'm just feeling it out, seeing what uh, what kind of world we can build. And it seems kind of uh, dark and moody. So yeah, I think we're, we're we're pretty on track for you know some type of drum and bass track. So I've been like chopping these vocals up here. And as you can see, they're not really starting on time. Uh, I think this will work, but I can see why not many people have remixed the song because it's off time or I'm dumb. One of the two. I don't know. Um, and I do have a crystallizer on this vocal up here if you're wondering what this automation is just to uh, get rid of some of that like fuzziness from the uh, the not official acapella. So I think right here we can go for some type of little buildup or at least like a hint at a buildup. It's not going to sound great just yet, but we just want a little foundation. I'm gonna move this piano part over here since we're not really using it yet. Sorry, buddy, you're you're in timeout. We'll, we'll bring you back, maybe. <laughs> Kind of just go into a drop now. I mean, this really isn't that big of an intro, but who cares? I don't know. Um, so we have two basses here, not really the most complex uh, bass line, just some slides here and there. And I'm going for kind of a more like a uh, liquid feeling. So uh, yeah, you know, we gotta have the Reese in there. And then we have this other one, which is kind of like more bouncy. And yeah, we're just gonna start making a little drum and bass groove, you know, a you know, you know that one. So a big part of German bass or you know, more so liquid German bass is uh, kind of abusing like break samples and whatnot. Um, so if you weren't aware by now, Noisia actually has a sample pack on Splice um, that we can use to our advantage. Um, 
and yeah, there's really no right or wrong way to use breaks. As you can see, I kind of have these uh, spliced up like this, just coming and going at different times. Um, I don't know, it just kind of gives it more groove. Um, and I really don't make much drum and bass, so I don't really know if you should like duck the snare like this. So I have like two side chains. Um, this first one is for the kick. As you can see, the knee is kind of shaped out for the kick shape. Um, and then the purple ones are another side chain that I made for the snares, which is a bit shorter. I don't know if that's what they do, but it sounds all right. <laughs> Woohoo, we're we're cooking now, boys. That's a pretty uh pretty good drum groove. I don't I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but it's it's uh it's passable. <laughs> Why are people texting me? We're trying to we're trying to make some drum and bass. Just kind of get some like little vocal chops. Um, not necessarily like real vocal chops, but just something to sit in the background from the acapella. Um, so honestly, now I'm just kind of adding stuff in just to fill it out a little bit more. Um, I, I don't know where the sample came in, but it's kind of cool. Add some effects on it, crystallizer, camel crusher, EQ. Um, let's see what that sounds like. Um, maybe we can add like uh, our own little pluck to it. Let's see, convert it. Where does this go? I'm getting lost. I think it's it. Um, so yeah, I was just putting some final touches on this thing. Uh, I think this drum groove up here looks more complex than it is. I mean, we're just using like a, a bunch of chopped up samples, so it's really not as crazy as it looks. Um, but yeah, as far as the structure and layout goes, um, I had a lot of trouble in this section, like trying to make this vocal fit um, and over here in this little break. So don't use this as like a, a reference if you're trying to look how to lay out your track because it's it's not gonna work. Um, but I think we did what we set out to do, which was just to make, you know, a fun little drum and bass remix. And I don't know how long I'm gonna let the track play out, but um, if I finished the track, assumedly, I would just put the piano part right here and then it would go back into a drop or something like that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys learned something. That was pretty fun. Um, I guess I will just let you guys hear what we made in uh, three, two, one.
thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end hope you guys enjoyed the video and or learned something um, i thought it was a pretty fun little remix to make um i kind of finished it out towards the end after i finished recording um so yeah i'll probably put like a little message in the video just to explain that and also a lot of you guys asked me to make some type of discord server for everyone on the channel um so i'm gonna put that right here or in the comments or in the description i don't know you'll you'll find it somewhere down there um i don't quite know how to work discord servers yet i kind of just use discord for uh calls but um yeah we'll uh we'll, we'll figure it out together we'll do uh we'll do something cool on there so if you guys ever want to send me tracks or say what's up uh join the server and um yeah should be uh, pretty fun but once again i just wanted to thank you guys for uh getting me this little plaque right here that was uh, a really cool moment in my life so thank you guys for uh all the support you've given me over the years. It's uh, really cool. Um, but I think it's going to do it for this video, boys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.